Well, good afternoon. I'm so happy that wherever I go, I can preach and share a gospel that is for everybody, even the very vilest of sinners. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Lights Devotional, and I'm just so happy today that you've decided to sit down with me for three or four or five minutes, and uh, let me uh, just tell you about a little incident that I had a few years back when I was pastor in a church down in a little village called Cuba, Alabama. Such fond memories of Cuba, Alabama. Such a wonderful church, great people. I mean to tell you, I get homesick even after all these years of being away just thinking about it. But I enjoyed my ministry down there in that little village and right up the road from Cuba was a larger uh, town called York, Alabama. Now, the superintendent of public utilities attended our church, and so whenever somebody moved into the little town of York and had their utilities turned on, he had the name and the address, and he would share it with me, and I would get up and make a call, welcoming them to our community and inviting them to attend our church. So he gave me the name of somebody one day, and I drove up, found the address there, knocked on the door of somewhat of a run-down uh, house. The guy came to the door, and uh, the guy that answered the door, my, he was a rough character. I mean, rough looking. He was one of these guys that, uh, you know, just looked like that uh, he'd really been down a rough road of life. But he was one of those guys that Christ loved, and one of those that Christ died for, and so I told him who I was. He didn't invite me in. He said, why don't we go sit in your car? So we went out to the street where my car was parked, and we sat there in the car and began to chat a little bit and get acquainted. And after a while, of course, we got around to asking him about his relationship with God and if he knew that his sins were forgiven. And he looked at me and he said, you know, I'm too big a sinner to be forgiven. Said a few years back, I had an altercation. I don't know if he used that big word or not, but he had a run-in with a neighbor. And he said he got to arguing with his neighbor. He went in the house and got his loaded shotgun. And his words were, I came out and I blew that guy's guts out. Well, God will never forgive me for that. He said, even though I got by on a self-defense chart, uh, on a self-defense uh well, I wonder how do I put it? I got by with self-defense and avoided prison, yet I still thought so many times what a terrible wrong I had done. And he went on to say that he just thought that he was uh, in a place where he could never be forgiven because of the terribleness of his sin. I said, you told me a few minutes ago that you read your Bible. Yes, I've read the Bible. Do you remember reading about a man called Saul of Tarsus? Yes, I remember Saul of Tarsus. He later became the Apostle Paul. So he had some Bible knowledge, and I said, that's right. And do you remember what Saul was doing on the day that he got converted on the road to Damascus? I said, he was out rounding up Christians to bring them to death. And even though he might not be the one that was responsible for uh, their immediate death, yet he had a, a big part in uh, rounding them up and bringing them together so that they could face an executioner that would end their life. And I said, you know, Paul was responsible for the death of a lot of Christians, and yet God forgave him. And Paul said that Christ came to save sinners, among whom I am chief. And I quoted that verse to him, and and I tried to pray with him, and yet, as far as I know, time after time that I visited him, he never would get to the place where he would really open his heart and his life to Jesus Christ. But I'm so glad that I can tell him, and I can tell others, that uh, Christ can save even the vilest of sinners. No matter what terrible, heinous crime you have committed, uh, there's power in the blood to forgive every sin. So I'm glad that though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Aren't you glad for forgiveness today? Probably none of you that are listening to me have ever done anything so vile. 
but uh, I'm so glad that you can tell others that have that there is forgiveness through the blood of Jesus Christ that brings us into a relationship with God that uh, enables us to enjoy communion and fellowship with Him and the assurance of a home in heaven. Heavenly Father, thank you. There's forgiveness of sin. Thank you, Lord, that regardless of how deep into sin we have gone, how terrible our sin that we have committed has been, yet we know that if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. May we be busy, Lord, letting others know that there is forgiveness through Jesus Christ. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Well, you go out and share the gospel with the sinner today and assure him that he can know the joy of sins forgiven. Goodbye now. And I'll see you tomorrow on the Lord Light's devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.